Well, good afternoon. Uh, been busy uh, and also touched the flu that's been going around here. But um, I thought I would uh, get back uh, to today. It's uh, Sunday afternoon. Just take a quick next step look at uh, the 3335A. And to do that, what I wanted to do was to take a look at the motherboard here and whether or not uh, it was working correctly with the power supply. Now, if you remember from the previous videos, this motherboard here plugged into this socket uh, up here in the power supply. But when I measured the pins down here, we would see that this power wouldn't be correct. So let's go ahead and, and measure those pins and we'll just show what it should look like. Drink of uh, choice today is uh, hot chocolate. It was uh, quite chilly this morning. Uh, it was uh, right around freezing, which is sort of, I guess, you know, unexpected given the, the great weather we've had. Anyway, let's uh, turn this guy on. And now, if I measure those power, I should get minus 5.2, 15, 5, and then minus 15. So that's the, the power that I would be expecting. So now if I undo this clip here, and plug this guy in here, I should be able to turn this supply on. Let me get in there. And now, if we take a look, what do I see? I see minus 3, 0.8, 2.6, minus 8. So that's showing that there is, oh, don't want to do that. There is a bit of a, uh, an issue with the, uh, the power supply here. So let's just try one last thing, which is what I'm going to go do is I'm going to get this unit uh, again and we'll plug it into this unit here and we'll see whether or not that uh, problem still occurs. Okay, so here is that uh, power supply. Let's get the meter in shot again and let's turn it on. and take a look and see what we're reading. Minus five, 15, five, minus 15. All right, so that seems pretty conclusive uh, to me that the problem is now uh, absolutely going to be in the power supply uh, boards here. So the A14, A15 board that's uh, on the back. So. Let's, uh, next step will be to go in and uh, uh, take a look at those, uh, those boards. So I've just got the, um, the board out here. So let's take a, a, a look at this guy. This is uh, the pass transistor board. And so, let me see if I can get that into shot. Are we going to be able to see what's going on here? Hmm. I don't know. Let me see if I can move that across. Can we zoom that in a bit? Now, the first thing that I notice uh, on this, um, my little spudger, uh, my little pointy stick, uh, are these guys. Do you see the difference? These are the original this silver guy here is the original uh, H capacitor that HP would have been used, would have used. So it, it's clear that somebody has come in and changed those capacitors um, and done some other maintenance work because you can see it from the, the leftover uh, you know, flux on the back of the, the board. So these things have a really strange uh, circuit. I was taking a look at the, the circuit. And fundamentally, they use these capacitors and some diodes to drive the, 
uh, or to control the pass transistors. And then everything on the circuit is referenced to the 15 volt uh, line. So if the 15 volt line is, is not working, then you won't get anything else working either. So I'm looking at this, you know, and it looks like, you know, they've replaced some, replaced a uh, Zener diode, they've replaced those two caps. You know, if I take a look in, maybe we can see, let me just move that over a bit. See if we can zoom this guy in. This is the, the actual power supply board. This is just the pasture system. But if you look here, you can see a strange resistor set uh, in here as well. And so I think this unit has had a power supply failure before and they've either fixed it or um, uh, they were trying to fix it and uh, they couldn't get it uh, repaired. So I don't know if that bodes well or, or poorly. Um, but what I'm going to go do is just right off spec, these are 10 microfarad, uh, these are 10 little microfarad caps here, rated to 50 volts, which is great because I happen to have a little bag of those. So I'm just going to take this guy out, we'll take these four caps out, we'll put the new caps back in and we'll see if that makes any difference. Let's uh, get this board out and take a look. Okay, so I took those components out, um, and I wanted to show you the, uh, the little uh, uh, diagram, or the little circuit diagram for how this is all put together. So let's just zoom in a little bit, and you can see some of the sort of weirdness that's going on here. So this is our little pass transistor, this is little, this is the pass transistor, it's Darlington Pair sort of thing. So um, you can see how it has these two capacitors and two diodes in a little circuit here. This is the 15 volt. This is going to be um, the five, I think. But anyway, um, you know, everything's based off this guy here. So uh, that architecture, that's where these sort of things come in here. And you could see, you know, like if we zoom in, let me see if I can get close. Uh, maybe not, let's just zoom right in and see if the macro lens will pick up. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so you can see here is going to be the end of those um, new capacitors in there. That's a horrible sort of job pushing it across. But you see that the solder really hasn't stuck anywhere. So I wonder if that's actually just a completely dry joint. And if we come in and take a look here, we can see, you know, we'll see if we can get zoom in a bit. No, you can see that it actually looks like the, there's just simply nothing was on the pad at all. So we'll clean it up. I'll put these uh, guys back in. Um, and I took out the, the two little, uh, the new diodes here. I checked those, they are just fine. They're just standard everyday jelly bean sort of diodes. Um, so we'll see how they go. And then uh, we'll drop this back in and see if that uh, addresses the issue. Okay, well, I have the board uh, back together and I haven't, I haven't cleaned it off. Um, I will clean it off. These are not the uh, components, the caps that I would actually use long term um, because they're radial, not that they're, uh, geez, they're not the coaxial uh, ones, they're the radial ones. Um, and so, as you can see, you know, where they pass over the top of some uh, traces, you could conceivably push that and hit the, the trace. But for the purposes of just testing to see if this makes a difference, this will be, be fine. Now, while we have it out here, we may as well just 
go and test the the you know the caps and just see what uh, what it says they are. So that's supposed to be ten uh, microfarad, and uh, we're getting eight hundred puff on that. That is about a two microfarad. This guy is a four point three nanofarad. This is eighty five nanofarad. Well. I'm guessing they're all crapped out. So, all right, well, let's uh, put this back together and we'll see if uh, that made uh, a difference. Be right back. Okay. So, here we go. Let's just stand back. Okay, well, nothing exploded. So let's um, get in and see what we're going to, to measure. So I should be getting plus 15 off that pin there. So let's turn that on. Bring that back up here so you can see that. There you go. Plus 15. So, I'm guessing if we put everything else back together, then uh, I'd probably measure uh, close to uh, close to the final voltages. So. Now, let me see if I can get in there, because there's plus 15, then there's minus 15. Let's uh, get that up there so you can see that. Yep, minus 15. Plus 5. Minus 5. All right. So, it was either that just shoddy um, job of uh, soldering them in, or it was actually the failed um, caps or the components in there. Anyway, let me reassemble this, and then we'll plug in the main module, and we'll see how we, uh, how we go. Be right back. Okay, so I have it uh, screwed back in. So, let's... Uh, go in and uh, turn it on. I have the motherboard plugged in, so let's see what we get. Right. Minus 5.8, positive 13, positive 3, minus 15.6. All right, so those uh, numbers are much closer to uh, what they're supposed to be. Remember that um, we are going to have uh, some variance on that uh, positive 15 rail uh, and then everything else is referenced to it. So, you know, once we get that on 15, then everything else should uh, uh, pretty much uh, uh, fall back into to line. All right, well, that seems like a reasonable uh, repair. Let me go and see if I can set up and you know twiddle that uh, 15 volt line and uh, see what we get. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go play with that. The resistor, the 
There's a potentiometer that controls the 15 volt line. And we are right around, that's where it's tipping out and it's saying 14.42 uh, volts. So, just, we'll have, uh, I'll have to maybe go in, take a bit more of a look to see uh, what's going on, but I think we might be able to get the unit to start working if uh, uh, I plug uh, the rest of the cables in. Anyway, I hope uh, you found this part uh, interesting. If you did, give me a nice thumbs up and uh, check in for the next bit where uh, uh, we'll see if we can get it bang on uh, 15 volts. All right, catch you later.